Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another 12 days of Christmas video. On this one, we are going to be cleaning, decluttering, and tackling our children's toys. So I already started in the garage. We store some toys in the garage and I have about half a bag already filled up with toys and now I'm going to go through the play area downstairs and just get rid of stuff that we are not using. Christmas is coming up. My little's birthday is coming up. So we just need to get a lot of this stuff cleared out to make room for the new. And toys, if it's broken, something like that. Most of our toys are not broken. They're usually in good repair. But if they're broken, of course, I'm going to toss them. And if they are in good repair, I will um, put them in the donation pile. So let's get started guys. So this is the overview. So this is a lot of her large items. Like I said, we already have half a bag full. Um, this is chalk, pencils, and crayons. So I need to go through there and throw away anything, the markers that aren't working or anything that's broken. Back here, we have a pillow and then her little magnet doll set and then some larger puzzles back here. So. And then in this area, we have all of her food items. So I'm just gonna go through there. Anything that is broken will be tossed out. These are her books. And I actually just recently went through those because I brought down the Christmas books. Legos, magnets, all of that good stuff. I think that's not too bad. This is the one that the small toys just collects a bunch of junk. So I'm gonna go through there the cars and balls and then the puzzles are good um they all have still have all their pieces so and then we have the art area this is a hot mess it always gets a hot mess i'm gonna go through that she has like stamps mr potato head and then her little kitchen area which I think is good. And in here we have, she has her Barbie car down there, more balls and a cup and a microphone. So just go through there. But yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, um, but I, we, I'm just gonna make my way through all the toys and get rid of anything that we're just not using. So guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is sort through all the toys. This is probably the longest part of this process, but it is much needed. So I'm putting um, things that are going to go be donated in one pile. Um, putting things that need to go together like her doctor set, her kitty set. I'm putting all of those things together, finding all the pieces for her tea set. Um, I decided to stick the Barbies in that tub with the Barbie car. I thought that made more sense than having them in that large bucket. So I'm just going to make my way through each of the buckets and um, sort things out and put give away anything that I feel like we aren't using that will be better use for another child. Let me know down in the comments below how often you go through your kids' toys. I think a good rule of, 
them for people is to go through them during their birthday and during their Christmas time. Just during those times, they tend to get a lot of toys. That's what I did for my son growing up. But Brooklyn's birthday is only five days before Christmas. So um, I try to go through her toys every few months or after a holiday, like Easter when she's gonna get a bunch of little stuff or Valentine's Day. Cause I feel like kids these days get toys for everything. So any major holidays, I try to go through her things. These smaller toys, there's so many junky little toys in there that she gets for goodie bags at school. Not too many birthday parties this year, but like goodie bags and stuff like that. So just going through all of the small toys and then putting things in a pile that are in good repair, but we just aren't using and can be better used for somebody else. I'm gonna make my way over to the art area. Um, I do clean out her toys when she is asleep because she would want to keep everything. So that is my tip for younger children. Older children, I would have them help you. And then with my son, like if he didn't give away enough items, then we would go through it together. Or he would give away stuff that I didn't want him to give away. So um younger kids maybe doing it alone when they get a little bit older having them assist you and help you and every time i go through her toys she tends to play with stuff that she has not played with in forever so it's just good to do i would say going through the toys every three or four months is justified and you can keep having clutter at may guys I am chewing the southwestern a rolls they're in the freezer section at Aldi are bomb like you need to get them they taste so much like the chilies ones they're so good bucket that I'm gonna go grab yes I keep toys in my car um, she still will bring a million things in there but I just went through that discarded anything that needs to be thrown out and then that the car bucket was really yucky um, I don't know what was on the bottom but I'm gonna put all the stuff back in and then we actually will be done <music> done we almost filled up that whole bag with toys this is everything complete 
and organized-ish. Um, all of the big toys have all of their pieces and yeah, I'm excited to, especially this small toy bucket, it was the ho a hot mess, but I'm excited um, for bringing in some new items. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Um, thank you for joining me for another 12 days of Christmas video. Bye.